The laws of physics say it's just exponentially more expensive and exponentially more difficult to actually explore some more interesting. Yeah. And, uh, oh, it's and, and therefore, I don't think it's ever going to be. I don't think private industry has ever got the... Well, the, the other commercial thing, wait, wait, payback wait, wait, wait. Is, is, is not going to be in the near term without the government. I've been politely silent, haven't I? I know. I was really... Okay. I, was, I was surprised. I was going to use the word oddly, but okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't think you were that polite, though, but it's okay. Uh, I just want to clarify some of this information that's being bandied back and forth. There is fundamentally no business case yeah. for private. Can, can I finish this sentence? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. <laughs> there is fundamentally no business case for private enterprise to advance a space frontier. For but example, why do we want people in low Earth orbit? I mean, I just don't understand why. Why do we want people hanging oh, out in low Earth orbit? Well, that, because the. the buy seats to take a vacation there. Well, it, they already it, have. <laughs> the people doing it, the people buying tickets at $20 million <laughs> yeah, a seat. A, it, so you make it $10 million, more people will buy the seat. Yeah, yeah, twice million, even more. Yeah, absolutely, you're right. I think it's for entertainment So then purposes. what are you arguing with me about? Well, the point is, <laughs> as a goal, as a national goal, what do you want, why do you want people in low Earth orbit other than no, entertainment? No, if oh, it's, it's commercial, national there's goal. no national goal. If it's commercial, it's whatever makes yeah. money. Yeah, I, no, no, I want them there goal. because it will lower the cost of getting satellites for research into orbit. Thank you. No, no. And, well, why would it do that? And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Is there more? If NASA needs to go back to the space station, they don't have to launch one of their own rockets. Yeah. They hitch a ride on Elon Musk. But hopefully rocket. we can get rid of the space station so they won't have to go there. Whatever well, they will need, whatever is the need in low Earth orbit, NASA should not be the truck driver to yeah, make that happen. I agree with you completely. No, so... Uh, As I always do. So, wait, 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 that's delusional. Um, <laughs> I'll explain why. I agree. Okay, Neil, no, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll speak later. What, allow me to explain. Okay. Okay? The reason why there's so much interest in that Twitter feed is because the manned program was not itself advancing an exploration frontier. Had they been doing that at the same time, no one would have given a rat's ass what the robot was doing. But, and that's, and that's the, what was implicitly recounted here with the moon. In the 1960s, there were robots on the moon. Did you hear about any of them? No, because the manned program was advancing a space frontier. If you do both simultaneously, we're going to be listening to the tweets of the astronauts and not of your robot. Uh, That's you, how that I, happened. I, you know, Without I, the manned program, I, the robots look really sexy. I, I hate to agree with Neil at all, but... Um, uh, uh, Phoenix but, was but, cute! No, no, but there's some sense to what he said in this case. But uh, the... the, the um, does anybody We're know friends. exactly when it no, lost but anyway. control? At the end of the day, the thing is, manned space flight, kind of awesome, kind of wish I could be part of it, but there isn't the budget in the world right now to do it right. We want to learn, we want to explore, we want to do science, and we have to use robots to do that. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I just calm down? <laughs> no, bring it on, Dr. T. Here's the closing. <laughs> Testify. Plus, we got questions. <laughs> Tell the truth. I, and I want to make sure we get the questions, but I got to rebut gonna. that. Rebut that. Okay. Uh, to say there's no budget in the world, the federal budget is three point something trillion dollars. Doesn't go as far as it used to. If you... <laughs> yeah, it used to be real money. If you want to count to a trillion, it would take you 100,000 years, and that's one number per second every waking and sleeping moment of your life. That's how big that number is, point one. Point two, it's not that we can't afford it. It's that we have chosen to not afford it. Mm -hmm. I tweeted recently... <laughs> I tweeted recently that the U.S. bailout of the banks exceeded the 50-year budget of NASA. Yeah. You want to put something in context, if you want to do something with three and a half trillion dollars, you can do whatever you want. The what, whatever you judge to be important to the profile yeah. of the nation that you were trying to build and to sustain. So I submit to you that when you look at the NASA budget, and I'm tired of saying this, but I'll have to say it again, the NASA budget is four-tenths of one penny on a tax dollar. If I held up the tax dollar and I cut horizontally into it four-tenths of one percent of its width, it doesn't even get you into the ink. So I will not accept a statement that says we can't afford it. <laughs>
terraforming Mars is not as easy as it looks. But it, but it is, I think we, I bet we'd all agree though, at some point in the long-term future, the future of humanity is in space. It's a part of, we want to diversify, we're all in a one-shot thing here on Earth, and so I have no problem no, with ultimately delusional. colonizing well, other it, systems. It's delusional, it, I'll it, tell you why. Shh, shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This crops up in a different way. There's a, mission, there's a telescope called the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. 10 meter telescope designed to survey the sky once every three nights from the southern hemisphere. One of the it's major not going ways. <laughs> One of the major justifications for its funding is it could find that killer asteroid and give us years, and I know this because I narrated the NSF video they're showing, um, yeah. it'll give us a couple years chance to figure out how to get that sucker somewhere else other than killing us. And so we can justify prolong justify science by saying we're going to prolong human beings by protecting our own planet with the LSST in this case. So the you can fund science by saving humans. The only preventable natural disaster yeah, is the uh, right. near-Earth object yeah. getting too but near. But I have to rebut Larry here. <laughs> Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, thank you. Lawrence. Uh, Neil, make it short because our keynote speaker is a real diva. So okay. <laughs> I don't want to eat into his time. I don't want to eat into his time because okay. you know what he's like. So real it, short. Here we go. It's, it's real short. <laughs> I'm guessing, Lawrence, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just guessing that whatever it takes to terraform Mars and move a billion people there so that we're a multi-planet species so that one planet does not go extinct from an asteroid, whatever effort that is, that's probably more than what it takes to deflect an asteroid. Uh, I agree with you there, absolutely. I agree with you there. But I, I agree. Do, I, but I actually... So, so, so the notion, let's live in 22 planets so we're protected... Oh, no, that's... No, I, I don't mean it for protected. I think we'll eventually... We will eventually colonize other systems. I think but you said it to protect the species, and that's... Oh, oh okay, well, fine. fine. Well, we only need to move two people to Mars, then. I, yeah. I read that in a book. Adam that's and really Eve. fertile people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the universe isn't just expanding, it's accelerating, right? And do you know why? Um, no, and... Nobody knows why! Yeah. <laughs> And so, uh, if you want to find out, you have to build missions like this. I, I always like to say that no one knows, knows why, and if, if someone tells you that they know why, they're lying, especially if they're a string theorist. Yes. Oh. Okay. So... Do you know any? <laughs> Russia, the Soviet Union put the first cameras on the moon, the first soft landing on the moon, the first sample return, the first Mars rocks came back from the moon all robotically. No. Mars rocks from the moon. A Mars rocks from the moon. Bill, dude, <laughs> it's on my mind. You're, you're, you're not supposed mind. to tell anybody. The first, <laughs> the first rocks. Uh, see, it's, that's the kind of slip where you lose that CIA <laughs> it's game. Right. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, it was, all, it was all done by Hollywood anyway. So, so I apologize. The, uh, the first sample return from another world was done robotically by the former Soviet Union. But people didn't really get excited about it, and the Cold War didn't get resolved yeah. until humans were there. 